You a vlogger, facing over You a queen when I less than I'm a boozy Oh why me, oh why me 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 Such a powerful woman. Hi, my ninjas. How are you guys doing? It's your girl. Oh, I'm Nate Bajoru, aka Miss Fear for Cold Bring Back for All Entertainment. If it's ever some journey, me almost even low. Come, please do make sure that I subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell. I absolutely love it. And do not forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. It's at boldly over me. Now, my ninjas, if obviously watch my previous video, I was looking a lot different. Like, I will not lie. Editing that video, I was like, chill. Like, you can do better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> i feel like that wig and the fact that obviously i didn't have any makeup on which is not a problem but like the wig and just the whole look the top i was wearing i i literally looked like i raised ryan he got married and he has kids like i i look like my son's children's grandmother okay so no we're just not about to do that and anyway i'm about to actually head out but anyway ninjas obviously i don't even know like i feel like okay maybe like to make light of the situation not to make light of the situation what's the right word before i get attacked and cancelled but uh, anyway i'll go ahead and say that guys i'm breaking some really sad news here so you know a smile <coughs> in the beginning would not hurt anybody but anyway we're gonna be talking about the water of journey and obviously the previous video was about her i was actually telling you guys that she unfortunately got shot last night or at the early morning um and so it's it's really honestly said hey it's really honestly said i just is that some of you guys were commenting asking like what happened and i obviously had to get a bit of more information on what happened and so this is what i actually am about to tell you guys so what is being alleged is that she was involved in a drive um a, 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 i would say should i say drive by like shooting so they shot at her car now from the little information that I, we got obviously from search which i feel like you know he also like just went on and on and on but he really didn't get into the details i think that maybe he's also traumatized as he says that they were up until um you know 3 a.m in the morning at the hospital um but from what we've gathered is that there is a car that basically went and shot at um the water by Janice car and so it does seem like there was Tobajani has a driver and so these people that were shooting they actually knew that she has a driver because allegedly they shot at the girls at the back and not at the driver so which means that number one is someone that definitely has to have um you know studied Utebuho to know that okay she would be at the back and not driving which means that she has a driver number one number two Serge actually says that it seems like these people were together i guess maybe they were at the club or they were sitting at a the restaurant they were drinking whatever um and then that's when he got sh uh, called to about the you know the the the, the fact that she got shot and so he says that he did go to the crime of the scenes um scene and then also i guess you know went to the hospital so we know that she was out that's the first thing number two i think that she was definitely tailed which means that she was followed these people must have been looking for her and looking at her where they would know that okay fine now she has left she's at this place she's at the back and then they decided that they were going to shoot um and so it really honestly is a scary scary situation because she literally just survived an assassination which is something that uh, not a lot of people actually survive um the unfortunate part about obviously you know being shot in the car is that um you are ambushed the first thing obviously um you know you don't know but they know what they're doing that's the first thing the second thing our cars are not bulletproof you know so the bullets are in there like they get in there and so that's why a lot of people actually do not survive um you know the shootings from the car and then also um the other aspect again that i saw that it was 
was really quite crazy was the fact that um they are obviously alleging that the friend or rather the employee that she actually had with her has actually been shot and she's in a critical condition um sage actually went as far as saying that she's fighting for her life so she's in the hospital i'm um, fighting for her life he also said that she's in the machine so it means maybe she's at a point where she can't even breathe herself she needs assistance and that's why she has to be um hooked up to machines which i do hope that obviously she's going to survive now obviously the biggest question that everyone is having right now is why why would anyone want to kill the water virgin i mean at the end of the day the only thing that we know about the water virgin is that you know she has a big ass you know she's gorgeous um she's an actress um she's a slay queen um and you know she has an eye and loves the finer things in life and why would anyone wanna like take her life you know over that now the other part again that um we should also remember is that she does have a strip uh, a strip club and the girls that she has i mean i'm not even going to lie those are some premium premium stock okay so uh, we all don't know at this point but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and read um this um um twitter from america um to jane i mean to jane <laughs> <laughs> Merka the Jade, okay. Um, that says, Why will a hit be ordered for the water vagina? Is she involved in some doji dealings? She once mentioned the reason for relocating, so now she's opening the club again and she gets shot. Okay, somebody said, If Osaba Lili Su Lakapili Tamekela Tamikela Hakala Li Business Yadi Night Club, remember DJ somebody City Meg, uh, City Mang Mang, aka etc and so i think that obviously um the how can i say this the the part where you know i'm also sitting here and i'm like is it about the club you know because i did say in my previous video that from what i know she's about to reopen or if it has not just been opened and then all of a sudden she's getting shot i do think that maybe she should play away from um you know the night club life um these people they mark their territories and they are not afraid to take people's life i feel like it honestly is just one of those things that is just so barbaric and also just so senseless in my personal opinion because why are you taking someone's life um i do just wish that you know as humans we could live in a world where we are just okay we understand that listen we can all eat together if it's a competition it's a competition you know if someone is coming with something that is better than yours you know it's time to just be like wow damn like you know I, a round of applause like you know you're doing something that is great i wish i came with that idea but unfortunately i feel like some people actually get jealous and then they get to a point where they're just like i'm gonna kill this person and then i'm gonna take over so obviously since some of them can't take over the institution they will just copy exactly what that other person is doing and so i think that for me the scariest part is just to see how much life means nothing to people um you know that people that are killing for fifteen thousand rands Fifteen thousand rents. Um, you can pay any uh, someone to go and kill somebody, and they don't see anything wrong with that. Um, and I think that is just such a sad, sad situation as to how cheap life goes in this country. I do hope that Utewo is going to honestly be safe at this point, girl. Um, you know we have heard that you have got a very rich man. I think that man needs to put his money into getting you proper, proper security. Um, you know, or maybe skip the country for now a little bit i don't know because um they do not get paid for an attempted job okay they get paid for job done so even if they've gotten maybe part of the money for them to get the rest of the money they need to make sure that the job is done so at this point i do think that her life is really honestly um in danger and she needs to just be very very careful um this is honestly just so sad this is honestly just so sad and i think that the last part um that i'm gonna say is that guys it is you remember when we were growing up they used to say that be very careful of the friends that you actually keep that you know they will be bad influence they will get you into trouble they used to say that we never honestly used to listen but now being an adult it's very important to make sure that you are very cautious of who 
you mingle with some people have got hits on them and unfortunately when those hit men get an opportunity they're not gonna be like oh maria is also in the car so we can't do it no they do not care they will kill you to get to the person that they actually want to kill and so in this situation my heart just goes out because obviously we do not know if maybe they were going after the war they were going after employee which i wouldn't say a reason why they would go after employee because it is the worst car that they actually shot at um but she's the one that is now in critical condition she's the one that is now having to fight for her life and the war actually did escape and not that i'm saying i'm blaming her i'm glad that she obviously did would rather have one person in the icu than um both but at the same time i'm just saying that be very careful the people that you actually um go around with because you never know you know your safety also needs to mean um something to you but anyway this is the information that i actually have now i hope that this is going to clear some stuff um and the fact that obviously the allegation that she did move um and she was talking about her safety and all that which means she must know maybe or have an idea of maybe who it is and what is actually going on she is safe though you know she's not in the hospital she's out and so i mean i'm sure that she's fine physically but i don't think that she can be okay mentally at this point and emotionally um i just feel like it would be such an invasion of security for someone to try to take your life um i just cannot imagine but anyway i do love you and i hope girl like you know you do make sure that the security you have you also keep it for your baby child you know because wow i'm really just i really do feel sorry for her um but yeah man go ahead and comment below what you guys think of this whole situation from mom in i love you guys so much stay blessed and i will see you guys my next upload bye ninjas